What's up everybody? Main Fly Guys here. Gonna tie a super super simple scud for beginners. Kind of a caddis larvae too, but uh, this is a size 14 hook. And I have uh, extra small uh, gold wire here that we're gonna be using as a ribbing. So I tie that in to start. I get a gold bead on the front and I tie it all the way back to the bend. Now I like you know, scuds and caddis larvae, they have kind of a nice curve to them, so I, I like to go deep into the bend of the hook here. And uh, next step, we're gonna tie in some thin skin. Cut it thinner than you think you should. If it's too thick, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't have that same appeal. So you don't have to worry too much about a uniform body shape when you're tying things in, because we're gonna be using uh, some dubbing to make the body here. So now that you have the, uh, the thin skin and the wire hooked in, I'm gonna use a green because I'm trying to imitate kind of a caddis larvae here. So this is just the uh, caddis life cycle dubbing in bright green. And I don't really want this one to be that bushy. This is where you can imitate more of a scud if you want or a caddis. You know, scud are a little more bushy, they have all those legs. so. This one's gonna be more of a caddis though. So, start wrapping your body. It's pretty much uniform the whole way. You don't have to worry about a taper because caddis and scuds, they don't really have that taper. So, get your green going. Right when you get to about the halfway point, I'm gonna put it in a hot spot. And I have orange here. You can do yellow, red, pink, purple, I, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Orange seems to work pretty good though. So, I stick with orange here. And you know, again, I, I don't know how much it matters. But anyway, so once you get done your orange, uh, go back to the green or whatever color you decided, browns, whites, yellows, they all, you know, they all work pretty good. Um, and continue wrapping right up to behind the bead eye pretty much. And again, I like it to be relatively uniform. Just have a good solid dubbing body. And I need a little extra here towards the front. And so once you have this all wrapped in together, you can go through, brush it out, or you can cut it. Doesn't matter, whatever you want. I want this one to be nice and, and clean, so I'm not gonna brush it out or anything. But you're gonna take the thin skin, you're gonna flip it over, and it's gonna be the back of this nymph. So I like to stretch it out a little bit. Just gives it a tighter, tighter look to it and it seems to make the fly last uh, longer so I lock it in pull it snug it make sure it's nice and snug in there and then give it a few wraps out uh, behind it flip it back and just a securing wrap out front of it go ahead and you can clip it right at this point so now we're almost done and you're just gonna take your gold wire and you're just going to uh, wrap it forward to make segmentation now you don't need this part if you don't want it I find that the segmentation one not only holds the uh, thin skin in and makes it more durable, but I like the segmentation, especially if you're trying to imitate sort of a, uh, a caddis imitation. What I do try to avoid is wrapping over my orange or my, my hot spot. I try to avoid wrapping that up. Um, so I usually do four wraps with the gold wire. You can do smaller, you can do less, you can do whatever. This fly was made for the West Branch um, for salmon. And, and I designed it specifically for that. And I think that this look, this four segments, does the best. I've tried less, I've tried more. The four segment seems to be the best. So I've just done that and I continue to do it. Now, like I said, I want it to be pretty neat and clean. so. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Again, here's your opportunity to brush it out to make it more of a scud pattern. That will sort of increase the body depth and make it look more like a scud rather than a caddis, but whatever you wanna do, it's up to you. So the final step here, I'm just gonna make a little black collar, not big. I want it to be thin. I don't want it to be overwhelming, take over the fly. I want it to be nice and thin. So I just do a few wraps 
and go ahead and whip finish and that's your fly. Now you can add UV resin on top or some glue in there but I, I don't think it needs it. And this is just a super, super simple pattern. Anyone can tie this and it's very, very effective. So there it is, our thin skin uh, caddis pupa or scud. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check us out on Instagram at Main Fly Guys. Leave us a comment, subscribe please, and thanks for watching.